So we're on set now. Marcus is back again. And we have gone ahead and, or I have gone ahead and I've set up this umbrella. It's just a very regular umbrella. I've lined it up. It's a, actually, I'll just tell you in detail what it is. It's an Ellen Chrome 49 inch uh, deep white umbrella or 125 centimeters. And in there is a flash head. It's a ELC 500. I don't think that's terribly important uh, as we do this particular uh, test. I've lined up the bottom of the softbox. So it's lined up with the bottom of Marcus's jaw and I've turned it around just ever so slightly towards him. There's gonna be light on both eyes and hopefully both eyelids. I went ahead and I metered uh, the exposure and it is uh, one, uh, well, it actually doesn't matter as long as you're using your sync speed. For me, that's one two hundredth of a second. So I have it set up at one two hundredth of a second at F8 at 100 ISO. So let's go ahead and shoot some photos and see how this looks. Maybe smile a little. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Well, they look a little bit dark. And that's probably because we have the highlights turned down from earlier, so I'll cancel that out. And they still look a little dark, so I'm gonna increase the exposure uh, by one stop here on Capture One. And that looks uh, correct. Um, now I'm gonna zero this out and increase uh, the power of the light uh, from its current setting uh, to one stop higher. So it was at 2.5, it'll now be at 3.5. So let's go ahead and take some more frames. And smiles again. Okay, so let's look at these images in the camera or in the computer here. And as you can see, I think they look pretty good. The problem we're seeing though, is that our hair once again is uh, almost pure black. It doesn't have any detail. So let me go ahead and grab my reflector and put that into the shot. Perfect. Okay, let's look at the pictures here on our monitor. I just want to go back, uh, put the camera down here. I want to go back to the grid and compare um, before and after. Okay, so you can see we've got more detail here on the shadow side. And I think that's good. It actually feels like, it actually feels like it's probably too much detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, move the reflector back just a little bit in general. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll take a few more pictures and see how that turns out. Okay, so this is before the reflector and after. Okay, I like the detail that we're getting now in this after image. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna compare this to the window lit image that we had uh, when we were doing that last scene with him over by the window. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is that the window lit image might be a little overexposed or that our flash image needs to be uh, increased with, uh, it needs its exposure increased just a little bit so that the two files will match each other a little bit better. So let me go ahead and move this slider up here about two thirds of a stop on the flash image. And I would say that overall, the character of these two images looks pretty similar. Um, if we zoom in here, like looking at his hair and so forth, and then just sort of poke around, I would say that you know, there is a little more shadow detail in the available light image, which we could save just by increasing our shadows a little bit here in post. But um, let me go ahead and just sort of 
Let's just stop here with this side by side and you can see right away that there is far more detail in the flash image than there is in the available light image, even though they're both at F8 and they're both at a reasonable shutter speed. It's just that by having that noise that we were introducing there from shooting at 12,800, uh, things are just not, uh, there isn't a lot of poor detail. It doesn't look that great overall. And this is a great example of why flash would be better than using available light. And as we zoom out here, you can see that the character of our flash lit image on the right is fairly similar to the available light image on the left. It could probably need uh, use a little more refinement because I think what we're seeing is that it just looks a little bit too contrasty. And I'm speaking only about the lighting. I think the lighting looks a little too contrasty so that there are some things that we can do in general to make that look better. And a general principle that you should know when it comes to flash is that the more layers of fabric your light passes through, the more soft it gets. And that's because those layers of diffusion fabric cause the light to scatter in every direction and it just softens up the light in general.